Okay, hello there, my friends. I've had a haircut. Oh, yeah, I got it chopped this morning. So, today I'm just going to go up to the Ardesti Earth House, have a little look around there, and I'm going to be doing a tune up there. I've got my ukulele with me. I'm going to see if the muse takes me and see what I come up with. Just going to stand in the middle of these stones and uh, see if I get any sort of prehistoric vibes, man. Alrighty, here I am at Ardesti. A bit cloudy, a bit misty, a bit warm as well. So I've soaked up the vibes. Here's the uke, and this is what I come up with. Well, sitting in the middle of our desti, the muse took me again. I got a new tune. Now 
tiny flatch and then it starts off nice and quiet, you know, and then we have some hippies running around their tambourines going, we're all gonna die, yay, we're all gonna die. Right, okay, that's enough of that jag, thank you. I was going to go for it, I was going to do a naked dance, but there's a blue van just stopped down the bottom there, so knowing my luck, somebody will come out. Anyway, this is our Desti, one of the uh, many sort of stone circle hut kind of things that are in the Tayside area. There's about 50 of them all in all, encompassing the sort of Tayside, Angus, Perthshire area. But these two, just up the road from me, would you believe that, are the most uh, sort of well-preserved, well kept ones they are fantastic you know and they'll still be here for another good well forever probably i'll be long gone you'll be long gone and these will still be here and the thing that i love is just knowing that somebody you know walked these very same steps that i am on now all those years ago just walking down getting on with their business no internet, no TV, no phones, nothing like that in them days. They would have just had to really just work, sleep and procreate. And the stonework has survived all weather, all those years of ravaging storms. This stonework has survived. There are bits, houses, that don't last as long as this. I mean, look, it's all still together, man. It's fantastic, it really is. Just think, somebody actually put that stone in. You know what I mean? Some person did that. So these were primarily used as storehouses for grain and, you know, wheat, all that kind of stuff that they used to make their bread and their, their food out of. There are suggestions that animals were here, but, well, I mean, I don't know, there's plenty of pasture and stuff for the animals. Um, yeah, probably a few horses and goats and sheep and things around about in them days as well. Uh, just uh, kind of like just a homestead this must have been. Oh, I'm going to take a selfie. <laughs>